Now let's take a look at some of the calculations that we can do on our more complicated two-dimensional arrays. So recall that when we created this annual sales figures, um, we generated an array that was composed of integers. If we would like to convert our daily, uh, our annual sales figures into average daily sales, it's actually very easy. All we have to do is take the array and divide by 365. And that division will be performed on all of the elements in both dimensions of the array. You can see that if we run this code cell. Now, one thing that you can notice is that even though the original numbers were integers and we divided by an integer, NumPy has automatically converted this into um, the uh, appropriate data type, which is a floating point number because, of course, it has to be a decimal number. So the calculations that we've seen so far are not very complicated. We've just simply been adding, multiplying, or dividing numbers. But we can actually carry out more complex operations using a NumPy function called where. What the uh, where function does is to apply a test to every element in the array. So for example, I could ask the question, in what elements it is the number of truck sales over 45,000. Um, and then I can specify what the output value should be if, it, if that condition is true and what the output value can be if that condition is false. If you're an Excel user, you'll, you may recognize that this type of uh, function or this format is very similar to the if function in Excel where you have a condition and then you state what happens if it's true and what happens if it is false. So what you end up with is basically a, a return value that is an array of the same size. And we can see that like this. So here is what the uh, array that we are inputting into the function right, with the condition and then it will step through each one of the items in the array. So if the first item is more than 4,500, then the first item in the return value will be uh, good year. Same thing with the second one. The third item is less than 45,000, so it, it is going to use the um, result for the false condition and so on throughout the rest of the series. So the, um, what we end up with is a return value that is a uh, ND array that has exactly the same size as what we put in, but the type of element that we have will not necessarily be the same. The input array were integers, but we said in the output array that we are going to create strings. So this would actually be an array of strings. Let's try this out using some real numbers. So first of all, let's just have it print out what the uh, truck array is. So here we see the annual sales figure just for the trucks. And then here we apply the where function as we saw in the example and assign it to a uh, an object named assessment. And we can see that it has done the uh, conversion that we ask it to. And if we then have it print what the type is, we see that it's now Unicode characters instead of integers like what we had in the original example. Uh, now, we can use a more complicated condition for our Boolean here. So in this case, we can ask, how does each of the cells within that row compare to uh, the um, initial value? In other words, we can, we can compare each of the items to item number zero. And if 
each of those other items is greater than or equal to the first item in the array. Uh, if it's greater than or equal to, it is an increase in the uh, output, and if it's less, it's a decrease. And if we run this, we see that um, for the first uh, two years, or well, the first year was the same, the second year was an increase, but the third and fourth were decreases over the first year, and the last one was an increase over the first year. So we can actually uh, not just compare to a constant, but we can also compare to other items within the array.